What's up guys, it's me boy KWIS and we are back again with another video and I didn't want to make this video. I, I had another video planned for today. <clears throat> Today's video was supposed to be uh, my match analysis in my set versus rocks, dragons, infested. That was what today's video was supposed to be. I had that uploaded, ready to go. But then I saw something on my timeline and I, I'm, I, okay, I'm just going to show you guys and then I'm going to let you guys have your own thoughts about it before I, I influence your thoughts about it anymore. So just take a look. Peggy 16. So that looks kind of good, right? That looks great. Uh, fantastic. You know, Tekken is sort of consolidating itself into a few small packages that you can buy if you just want to hop into the game right now. But then when I sat down and thought about it for two seconds, the cracks really started to show. First off, I think you guys will probably hear about the drama that the Legendary Edition sort of uh, brought on. A while ago, so a few weeks ago, people getting really upset about the Legendary Edition because it was Tekken 7 and it had some of the DLC. It had all the DLC for the returning characters, so, you know, Anna, Armor King, Marduk, Lei, right? Just those characters, right? So any of the original characters and the guest characters were not included in that package. And I think the, the price of it was also kind of ridiculous as well, considering, you know, it's the point the game has been out by now. And then the Legendary Edition also is only available in EMEA, which is Europe, Middle East and Africa, I believe. Um, and it is retail only, so there's no digital version of it, which is pretty weird. Um, especially considering, I think, you know, Tekken has a very large Asian and North American uh, fan base, obviously. So it's weird to leave them out of this, but it's weird to make this addition in the first place, in my opinion, especially considering now they had these these other two editions, the originals and the definitive edition. But I guess with these two editions, there's sort of good news and bad news. And I guess we'll kind of get into the good news first. Um, so the good news when it comes down to all of this is the definitive edition, you know, gives you everything. If you want to get into Tekken, uh, you've been watching it for a while. You haven't played the game at all. And you 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 don't want to just buy all the DLC separately. You just get the definitive edition. You buy the game and you just have everything, right? You hop in, you get everything. And then the original edition, I believe, has all of the DLC except for guest characters. I think it did have Negan, Geese, Eliza. I think those are the characters it didn't have, even though Eliza's not a guest character. Um, I think those are the ones it was missing out on. And I guess more good news on top of that is with a definitive edition, I think that... I mean, the word definitive in itself kind of says this is the final product. I think this is kind of signaling the end of Tekken 7. And we may hear something about Tekken 8 within the next few months. I wouldn't say very soon. I think it's too early to hear news about it. 
but we might hear an announcement about it next year sometime. If I had to put a, a number on it, it'd probably be at the Tekken Online Challenge Finals, uh, the North American one in January. I don't remember the exact date of it, but that'll probably be where we hear something potentially about Tekken 8. I think the name Definitive kind of puts a label on it that like this is kind of it for Tekken 7 for the most part. And now let's just get into the fucking bad news. Um, first off, I want you guys to right now in the comment section, tell me what price you believe you should pay for the originals or the definitive edition or both. Right now, I'm going to give you guys some time. Leave a comment what price you think you should pay for the originals edition and the definitive edition. All right, cool. I'm guessing most of you are wrong. Uh, the originals edition uh, currently is available for $74.99. Um, and if you're American, uh, a whole $99, so basically $100 there. And then the Definitive Edition is $94.99. And the Americans, you guys will be set back $199, so $120 uh, for that. If you don't think that's ridiculous, um, you're wrong. That's pretty ridiculous. Considering this game is, what, four or five years old from a console release and release in arcades a few more years longer than that uh the game is basically on its way out which is what the defensive edition is kind of telling you and do you want to charge a hundred pounds for that that is pretty insane um and i actually the only reason i wanted to look up the price of this is i saw um ketchup very popular uh fighting game commentator mainly known for nrs games uh tweeting about it and i've just got to say tekken team please just do better in situations like this because the second hand embarrassment that i feel as a tekken player as a member of the tekken community as a commentator content creator competitor it's just like oh, please can we do better because i look at this and i'm just like oh here we go here we twitter's gonna joke on us again it's another legendary edition situation here we go they're gonna make fun of us like i can't take it anymore okay like i can't take it anymore like we just get shit on all the time and we just deserve better like i don't know it's just it's just not a good look right now a definitive edition being 100 pounds is absolutely ridiculous especially like yeah it's a lot of content that's coming with the game but it's content that if you want to get into the game and so you want to be semi-serious or whatever is kind of necessary and that is uh that is an investment a steep investment to get into a game that at the start you're definitely not going to be good at and i feel like especially with no tutorial training way of helping you get better at the game it really is not a good look i understand the need to make like a definitive and an original edition i think that i think that in itself is an all right idea i think they only need to do the definitive edition in my opinion because I don't I don't know why you creating like it just becomes confusing honestly it really just becomes confusing for someone just like imagine you're like okay I want to pick up a game that and this isn't the only time they've done editions correct me if I'm wrong there's also the rematch edition and the ultimate edition so with what originals rematch ultimate definitive legend there's about five editions of this game and I feel like it can be very confusing to someone who just wants to pick up the game and just play it. Maybe want they all the stuff, they want some of the stuff. I don't know. It can be very confusing. On some level, it makes sense, right? It does kind of make sense. Like, you know, for example, the originals edition that comes with uh, all of the returning characters and the new uh, season four, season three characters that came to this game. Because there are a bunch of people that do know about Tekken, but aren't like up to date on Tekken 7 or whatever the hell um for example i'll give you guys a great example when i was traveling to uh la to go to vegas this the the weekend before the last weekend when i was getting in my uber to the uh airport my driver was like oh what do you do by the way i said oh do you know esports he's like uh kind of and i was like you know i play fighting games uh you know tekken he's like what tekken like this guy starts going on oh, no, like tech and like me and my friends used to play that all the time i didn't know people were still playing i didn't know they were still making the game blah 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 like all oh, the characters still there like yoshimitsu blah. like he was getting really into it and like you know he's he, he's sitting there like i'm gonna have to go pick up tech on myself the newest game what's it on all this shit, right and the same when i landed it in la and i was getting questioned by the um border person uh, he was like, uh, he, and he's like, so what, what, what's the purpose of your journey here, by the way? 
I was like, oh, like, you... I say the same thing. I'm like, oh, do you know esports? Because it's the best way to explain whatever the fuck I'm doing whenever I travel. Because it's a bit weird to just, yeah, I'm traveling here to play some games. Um, I was like, you know, esports. He's like, yeah, yeah, I know esports. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm a fine game player, blah, blah. He's like, oh, okay, what, what game are you playing? I was like, Tekken. He was like, he was like Tekken? Like, like Tekken? Like, I used to play that back in the day, man. Like, so that's the thing. It's like, it's relatively popular because of how popular it was back then. And then I feel like people need that like i feel like something like an originals edition or a definitive edition or something like with all the returning characters gives some people that push to maybe get back into it play some more characters they're playing or maybe just learn about the community and stuff like that so yeah i think it's a great idea to do this but i feel like the the recurring theme when it comes to stuff the second team have done is like it is the right idea it's just not been executed in the right way and i don't like always being so critical um, you guys know I don't like making negative content all the time, but when I see stuff like this, I just feel like someone needs to call them on their bullshit because this is not a good look. Like a hundred pounds for a game that came out five years ago. That doesn't make sense. Right? Yeah, it's been updated since then and balanced patches and changes and new characters. But a hundred pounds that doesn't sit right with me. The game on release was not a hundred pounds why has the price gone up over time like even if you fact i think someone actually did the maths if you buy the game base and then buy all the season passes it comes out to less money than buying the definitive edition so with that in mind please fix up um i'm yeah i i don't know i didn't want i did, I, I don't want to have to do stuff like this and get mad and get angry but honestly like i said the second hand embarrassment i get from being a member of the tech community is like crazy because when there's always going to be a time when someone's shit on the game and i'm just sitting here like i try to defend it when i can because i don't want to just be that negative guy all the time and have that kind of that kind of relationship with with Tekken or Ban and Amco or the Tekken team or whatever, but someone has to call them on their bullshit. I feel like I have like a responsibility as a notable member of this community, I guess, to sort of just be there. Because you, you guys know I try and be as fair as possible when it comes to this game and stuff that happens. When they do something good, when they do something amazing, I will sing their praises. When they don't, I'll call them on that. I feel like I try and be as fair as possible to try and hold them to account to make this game as good as it can possibly good as it can possibly be so yeah i guess that's all from me on this one please like comment subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next video